सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक अगेन इन एम यू सिग्मा क्लासेस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस लॉग इन विद ओ टी पी यू आई डिज़ाइन राइट एज यू कैन सी यू वही हीयर इफ आई क्लिक हीयर यू कैन सी दिस की वर्ड व्यू इज ओपनिंग राइट बट इफ आई एम क्लिकिंग हीयर यू कैन सी हीयर दिस की वर्ड व्यू इज़ नॉट डिसमिसिंग राइट वी नीड टू डिसमिस दिस की वर्ड वैन आई एम क्लिकिंग आउट साइड ऑफ दिस व्यू लाइक दिस परफेक्ट सो वन थिंग इज दिस एंड वी विल यूज की वर्ड अबाउट व्यू All right, and we'll use the scroll view because we need to, you know, scroll the view when I'm clicking here and the keyboard view is opening. We need to scroll this view, bottom to top. All right, so we'll fix this in this tutorial only. And before watching this video, please do like, share, and subscribe the channel. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to import two things here. One is the scroll view, another one is the avoid, or we can say the keyboard avoid view. All right, so this is keyboard avoiding view. We need to import like this here, like this. Just cut this part and go to the bottom, like this, and paste like this. And here you can see, guys, we need to use the scroll view also. Just use a scroll view like this, and go to the bottom. And here, under in this keyboard avoiding view, just paste like this. fine so now when i will save this okay so there is some issues what is the issue now let me just check once again all right so let me just check once again this is the keyboard avoid view this is the scroll view all right okay so let me just check where it is imported okay yeah let me just put like this perfect so now you can see guys this is the scroll view we have but the problem is this is keeping the area whatever the area we have in this view so this is you know uh, this is not look like same as we have in the design so we have to change something here in the scroll view so there is a property called content container style and we have to provide style here flex one so this flex one will basically contain the whole area of the screen all right and another problem is you can see we 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 cannot see anything here so let me just comment this part so that you can see at least if i'll comment this then you can see this changes you can see everything is in the perfect mood all right like the same but uh, we need to use keyboard avoiding view right so let me just go back and uncomment that part and we have to provide a style here and provide flex one like this and now you can see the changes this is now perfect fine guys you can see whenever i'm i'm scrolling you know uh, from bottom to top or top to bottom you can see uh, you can see this you know the odd changes here um this another color is you know this another color you can see here here so we need to enable we need to disable the bouncing you know so we need to false the bouncing effect so for that you can use bounce and provide false here sorry that's false here perfect fine and now you can see if i'm you know scrolling bottom top bottom to bottom so you can see there is no bounce effect perfect fine now i'm going to click here and then you can see keyboard view is opening once your keyboard view opened then you if i'm going to click here outside then you can see keyboard is dismissed keyboard is dismissed so everything is fine the last thing which is pending is in this video is ki uh, whenever we are clicking here this keyboard view is open then we need to scroll bottom top this view right so for that you have to do something uh here inside this scroll view so for this guys we need to use ref here so just paste the line like this so you have to write line you have to write this ref like this so this is the ref name scroll view right and then you can see here guys we have this component will mount and 
we have this function component will unmount and we have keyboard did show function and we have component did hide function i'll explain you here in this video so let me just put like this here you can see guys we have component will mount component will unmount and component did show and component did hide so component did show and component did hide function we are calling from the component will mount and component here will mount here and we here we have some of the listeners which we are removing from component will unmount when component basically unmounting all right let me just minimize the thing and here is a problem we need to import keyboard from the react native package itself that's it this is the splash screen this is the enter slider get it started and then when i'm going to click here like this okay the problem is d height can't find the variable the problem is i'm using the height here this is the external function i have made this is external function but i'm not using here in this so that's why i'm removing this d height here perfect like this perfect fine so if i'm going to click here like this okay nothing changed here we need to figure out the thing why it is not changing here let me just check once again from here okay comment this comment this we don't need to use this don't need to use this perfect fine scroll view ref everything is fine now the issue is with the keyboard avoiding view so let me make a property here this one you can see guys here we have this behavior so uh, this is a platform we have to import like this platform and then we can see here we are checking the platform it is ios or android if it is android then we need to put the behavior is padding like this let me just go back here and then click here like this you can see this is working fine now i'm clicking here like this you can see the changes like this i think this is quite enough good and perfect fine i hope guys this is working fine if you want you can put like this number here and then you can when you are clicking outside then the keyboard is dismissing right now i hope guys you are satisfied with this tutorial and you will love this tutorial if you like this video please do like this video and please do subscribe my channel in the next video we will learn how we can format the number so as you can see here guys uh, the number is just in the normal format and we can enter also the characters also but we need to just figure out the number and we have to take the limit like we can put only 10 digit number here you can see as of now we can enter any amount of number here but we need to put the validation over here all right guys so we'll see in the next tutorial so if you like this video please give a big thumbs up to this video and please do subscribe my channel for more updates and for more videos thank you so much